we are now Miku. Um, we do not have a camera yet, as you can see. Um, let's see. Something large behind, beyond the lattice. It kind of looks like a person covered with a cloth. Oh, dear. But, yes. So, we do not have the camera, because Mifuyu had it. So, we have to find it. Eh. And look over here. There was something here. There's something on the floor. Herbal medicine! <laughs> I got the herbal medicine! It's amazing. Oh, and this on the wall? There's an angry looking mask on the wall. Yep. Thanks, Miku. Again, I can already look at my recorder and see that it's pretty dark. And again, I apologize, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Because in order to... Just like your brother. I cannot change it in-game. I can only change it on my TV. And in order to change it with my recorder, I would have to buy the feature. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to spend that kind of money. I ain't got the kind of money to spend to buy a feature that will let me brighten shit. There's a ghost. He's watching me. What's up, dude? Oh no! Not ropes! What the hell's wrong with you? There's something over here. There's a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of a notebook. Research notes. September 12th. Now there's another rope! And another rope! Well, balls. That sucks to be you, dude. This is our save point, by the way. It's a camera. Unlike in every Fatal Frame after this, in which it will be some sort of lantern that is colored based on the game. Like Fatal Frame 2 was red, Fatal Frame 3 will be blue, and Fatal Frame 4 was yellow. Go down the creepy hallway. Cutscene. Well, looky here, it's our camera. Well, Mafuyu's camera. We're gonna be needing that. I'll fill you. Miku. That's not good. Did something happen to my brother? Nah, he's fine. Oh no. I picked up my brother's camera and notebook from the floor. Mom's old camera. My brother had this with him. I found a new note inside Mafuyu's notebook. Mafuyu's notebook. Which ironically looks exactly like the notebook he picked up earlier. <laughs> Weird, I thought that was Mr. Takamine's. Himuro Mansion Investigation. Himuro Mansion was once the home of a large landowner that controlled vast areas of land. They also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with Shinto rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these rituals, though. About these Shinto rituals, though. Okay, and I also warn you, I forgot to mention this, but some of these documents have horrible typos. I mean, at the level of Fatal Frame 2 when you had that one that said passageway instead of passageway. There's a lot of that here. <laughs> the last master of the Himuro family line massacred his entire household. Later, another family that tried to live there disappeared. Because of incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today, and it, lay and it lies in ruins. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals, and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. September 24th. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook just in case something, just in case anything happens to me. I've got to find Mr. Takamini and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. There are many other notes and news articles inside the notebook. Oh no! Man on a beam! Man on a beam! Yes, I know there are more ropes. He just basically said, more ropes. There are more ropes. Okay, I'm gonna 
check out these files. A lot of people don't realize that these are in here. They think they just picked up the notebook. But if they took close attention to that text box, it said that you picked up other notes. See? Those are all the notes you picked up. You didn't even know it. <laughs> um, also, a bit of trivia. In the Japanese version of this game, Miku is wearing a traditional, you know, Sailor Fuku uh, school uniform. Her hair is also black. And she's supposed to be 16 years old, if I remember correctly, in this game. Which is funny, because as you can see, she's not wearing her school uniform, and her hair is distinctly brown. That's something they did for the Americanized version of the game. I, Well, actually the westernized version, because it's the same in the European version. Don't ask me why, I would have loved to have played Miku as what she originally looked like. You know, jet black hair, and you know, her schoolgirl uniform. But no. They decided not to do that. And I will be back in just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. My recorder was being insane. I had to shut down the recorder and then bring it back up. Hopefully it's done being stupid. It did pretty well, though, <laughs> considering what it was doing earlier. Okay, so let's read these researches. Editor Ogata's notes one about folklore... about... about folklorists that lived in in mansion. Yeah. August 20th. Mr. Takamine, Takamine needs some background material for his next work. There's a book about Himuro Mansion by a certain folklorist, and I'm supposed to look for it. A book about Shinto rituals and legends from every part of the country. Author, Ryozo Munakata. Title, Unknown. Huh, Ryozo Munakata. That sounds familiar. August 22nd. I can't find the book, but I did some checking on the, bleh, I did some checking on the folklorist. I found out he moved into Himuro Mansion to do research on it, but after some certain event, he and his whole family disappeared. I couldn't find the book, but I found a news article from that period about it. <coughs> Sorry. It's a small missing person story, but it might be helpful as background material. Alrighty then. Editor Ogata's notes too. Himuro Mansion and Takimini's next work. September tenth, eleven a.m. It looks like the earthquake last month and the murders in that village have something to do with Himuro Mansion. This stuff is probably going all going into Mr. Takimini's next book. He really seems to be into this subject matter. His output rate should be good. Bah. Sorry for my horrible reading at the moment. September tenth, four p.m. The entrance door is broken. When in the world did that happen? It won't open. I'll have to find another way out. Oh dear, he's trapped. Edro got his note 3. He doesn't feel well. <laughs> September 11th. Uh-oh. I haven't been feeling well since two nights ago. Actually, it's more like ever since Tumbleway took, that pi took my picture. What in the world does the rope in the photo mean, I wonder? Something ominous. Edger Ogata's notes 4. Looks like delirious nonsense. September 12th. Now there's another rope. And another rope. Okay, that's the one we picked up. Edger Ogata's notes 5. Chart of numbers for mansion's devices. This is actually very important. It's what a lot of people miss when they try to figure out some stuff later on. There's some puzzles, and you could actually use this note here to help you. If you don't know the secret. September 10th, 1.10 p.m. Backtracking. There seem to be a few devices in this mansion that are engraved with old characters. When I asked Mr. Takimine about them, he said they correspond to numbers. I understand the first few. They're the old characters for numbers 0 through 3, but I don't get the rest. They're characters that have the same readings as 4 through 9, but mean something different. There's your little chart, and as you can see, there is the kanji for our video game series, Zedo, or Rei, which also means spirit or ghost, which is where the name of the game comes from. It is actually a pun, and that's why it was changed when they were brought to, when it was brought to America to Fatal Frame. Was it anyone who plays it in Europe knows that it's called Project Zero in Europe because it was brought to Europe first, and that's when they realized that nobody got the pun <laughs> of why it was called Project Zero. 
obviously Project Zero is the name of the team that develops each of the games. That's who, what they call them. So, they, nobody got it, so they changed it to Fatal Frame. But yeah, that that's the little story behind it. And as you can see, there are all the numbers in the kanji. I guess each one has a special meaning. I'll figure out the rest later. Well, apparently you won't. Whoop. Go back. Oh. News clipping. There was a report yesterday that a star novelist, Junsei Takamine, age 42, has been missing since the 8th of this month. Mr. Takamine's assistant, Tomoe Hirasaka, and his editor, Koji Ogata, are also missing. Mr. Takamine last made a phone call to his publishers on September 8th regarding his research trip, and was not and has not been heard from for 14 days. The publishers first assumed that the research was taking longer than expected, but since there were no calls from Mr. Ogata, they decided to file a missing persons report. Shouldn't you have done that when he didn't contact you for two days? Isn't that the thing. And I don't think we have anything else. Nope, that's it. So those are all the notes you picked up that you may not have realized you did. The article, by the way, I believe is from a Fuyu, because otherwise I don't think Ogata would have it. So now we're going to run in here. And right here, on the lines ma next to the lion mask, there is herbal medicine. That's right, I said herbal. Now, here's another secret. There's something in one of these chests. Whoop! Bro Shadow. Freaking before you! That's weird. Here we go. Black Notebook Scrap. Plot of my ne next work, Junsei Takamine. A series of murders in a country village. Dead bodies turn up one after another. Murders that resemble cruel Shinto rituals of the legend in the area. The acts of a man sworn to revenge. And the strange correlation between those acts and the folklore. The man is gradually more and more influenced by the legends. The work will be the story of this man, proceeding in parallel with the tales of the local lore. Records of the past discover of the past discovered after an earthquake. The story gradually blurs the boundary between the present and the past. July twenty fourth. About Himuro Mansion. Himuro Mansion is known as the home of a large landowner that controlled this region, but they say it was originally the place of a shrine that was built for performing a certain Shinto ritual passed down through the generations. But the people of that time kept the ritual a deep, dark secret. They were even forbidden to speak its name aloud. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Today, almost no accounts of the ritual exist, aside from a smattering of folklore legends. I found a news clipping inside the notebook. The earthquake the other day destroyed all five mirrors, the holy mirrors, which were artifacts kept for centuries in the five shrines. These mirrors represent the five gods' per the five gods' protection over this region. Most commonly known for the five gods' festival held every ten years when all five mirrors gather in one shrine. The priests of the shrine hope that this isn't a bad omen. Oh, but it is. Before we go up there, let's check... Let's check in here. I'm pretty sure you can got you could get Angry Man in here as well. Can't read any of that. Type 14 film. Yay! So onward. Let's follow our brother. Very quiet now. And creepy noises. It's locked. I hear something on the other side of the door. Maybe someone's in there? Doesn't sound like a place you want to go. And we're back to the fixed camera angles. Damn. I've pretty much already missed it. Oh, we got it. Hey. Hallway man. Yep. A lot of people don't know this. notice that one either. Something on the floor. Herbal medicine. Hooray. 
Let's see, anything in this? Nope. 